perfect sense of time in this game. What can the defense take away from a game like this where you can tell the opponent's overmatched, but you, what can you guys learn? Yeah, so defensively, we had a, a great plan going into the week of focusing on us. We game planned a little, but mostly it was just we got down to, we consolidated our call sheet, got down to stuff that we did the best and that we wanted to work on the most. And ultimately, uh, on Saturday, it was all about execution. So that was a major focus for us, is just executing our stuff. And we feel like we got better watching film. It was our best game execution-wise. And a lot of guys got time, but also um, for the starters and the, the ones and twos, the guys that needed reps, we felt like we got a lot better and gained confidence in running different sets that um, in the future will be uh, very beneficial to us. Was there an emphasis on getting a lot of guys into this game to get them reps? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's always fun to see the younger guys, the scout team guys that get to go out there and make plays in front of the home crowd and be rooting for them and, uh, and super happy. So that was very cool to see. And also to keep our guys healthy. Um, what do you want to get out of the bye week? So uh, kind of the same thing. We have the same approach that we need to focus on on us uh, getting better. Specifically, we have an emphasis on stopping the run. Um, today we went over each margin of, of the top 25 type defense that we want to be, and that means in every category. And so um, our focus mainly will be on stopping the run, but improving each of those categories. We're really close to being top five and, and top 25, sorry, in, in all of those. Uh, but San Jose State has a really good running back. He just rushed for over 300 yards or something like that this last week, and uh, that would be a good challenge for us. So stopping the run and uh, being more consistent on uh, the early downs for second down is definitely our emphasis this week. Tackling has been something we've talked about as the season's gone on with regards to the run game. This week, with it sounds like it's going to be a little bit lighter as you go into the bye, how do you work to improve that? Is it just technique? or? Yeah, so I, I think physically, we're, we have a physical defense, um, and we've worked tackling big time, and that's improved. It's about gap responsibility at this point, and guys being in the right place, and then being able to execute that. So um, what's nice about not having pads on is it's all about hands, emphasis, and your, and your feet. And so being uh, in the right position and using your hands to get off blocks is ultimately what makes you able to make that tackle. And so that's definitely the focus, and that's what's nice having this bye week. Instead of just pounding, or, and we can get healthy, but also work on that tackling and making those, filling those gaps. You're one of the more unsung guys at middle linebacker. We got Harvey Wong, you know, Pete Kula, who people name value people recognize. Yeah. One of the more unsung guys at that position. Is it, you enjoy being kind of that guy that's working in the shadows of everybody else? Yeah, so my, my role, uh, it, it's been a tough spot. Uh, fall for me. It's been a hard season. I had a great spring and out the ones and, and fall was the start going in and then pulled my hamstring second day of camp. Um, Re-pulled it two weeks later when I tried to come back <laughs> and have just been battling a, a torn elbow and the hamstring and things throughout. Um, but I, the leadership role that I've been asked to, to carry kind of behind the scenes is something I do enjoy a lot. I'm passionate about BYU football. I want the, our defense to be one of the best in the nation, and I'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. I love the guys that are making plays and getting a lot of time, and hopefully my body will let me. I'll uh, eventually get back to to my uh, good form. But um, in the meantime, it's just fun to see. Uh, we have a tight-knit group at linebacker, and there's a, a lot of seniors, three seniors that are getting a lot of time. And it's fun to learn with them and grow. And, but yeah, I do enjoy that role, leadership behind the scenes a little bit more. Is it an important week for you then, if you get it health-wise? Yeah, for sure. This week was nice, um, and then this week will be crucial. So a lot of treatment time, and um, it'll be good. As far as the bye week, you get Saturday, Sunday off. Is that right? Is that what yes. Uh -huh. So we'll go through Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, and then back. Um, we'll start our San Jose prep um, Thursday, and so that'll get us ahead for an early week or a short week next week when we play on Friday. So what are you going to do Saturday with a day off? You don't yeah. get many of those. I don't. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I, I'd probably go golfing with my little brother. I don't know. My family, um, I don't know if this is well documented, my family's in Greece uh, serving as mission presidents, uh, my parents. And so my younger siblings and all my family's gone. And so I have my little brother back from his mission. So it's nice to spend any time I can with him um, and uh, make sure he's doing OK and enjoy some golf, some nice we weather if possible. What's the best, what course are you going to go to? Uh, I love to play Wasatch right now with the colors and everything, so that would be fun.
you got any connections, you can let me know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>